the home of local Christian music. Amplify podcast. Make loud his praise.
Amplify. 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 Hi, Amplify listeners. Welcome to another uplifting and faith building episode of Amplify Podcast, where we feature our very own local worship songs and devotions. Hi, I'm Douglas here from Amplify Studios and today here with me, I have a special, special guest and he's none other than Ling Tia Hao from the Fireplace Collective. Welcome Tia Hao. Hey everyone, my name is Tia Hao and I'm from the Fireplace Collective and thank you so much for having me here today on your program. Yes, welcome to our podcast Tia Hao and Tia Hao here is the founder of the Fireplace Collective. Maybe in a few words, you would like to describe to us what Fireplace Collective is all about? Sure, I'd love to. The Fireplace Collective is a creative missions agency where our desire is to use music and media as creative vehicles to share the message of Jesus, testimonies of what He has done in our lives so that people can be touched with the love of God. And that's our greatest passion. Wow, amazing, amazing. Hey, if you'd like to find out more about Fireplace Collective, you can check them out on their website, which is www.thefireplacecollective.com. Or do stay tuned to our channel because in the next few weeks' time, we'll be launching our brand new series and we'll be chatting out with Tia Hao about Fireplace Collective. So stay tuned. Yes, it's so exciting. Anyway, I just love the songs that are coming out from our land and it's always so refreshing to hear new songs and new sounds of who God is and what He has done for us. And the first two songs that you have heard in the beginning at the start of the episode were always by the guys from The Edge of Victory Family Center and Something Beautiful, The Butterfly Song by Daphne June Lau. And we've got more songs coming right up. We have songs by Fireplace Worship, Impact Life Worship, YCCA Worship, and also Hope Church Singapore. And do stay tuned also to our Amplified Devo Originals, where we prayerfully write our devos to refresh, renew, and restore your soul in Christ. And today we'll be sharing about inheritance. As believers, do you know that you have an inheritance? I know many believers know what they must do as Christians and how they should behave and so on, but I realize that not many know their inheritance in Christ, like what has God given to them freely through the blood of Jesus Christ. And today we are going to find out why and how we can receive this inheritance from God. And I pray that you are going to be so blessed. Amen. And I'm so looking forward to that. And today we have a prayer request coming in. And this sister wants to pray for healing. She said she had pulled a muscle or nerve on the left side of her thigh a couple of days ago and she couldn't bend down. So she's praying for total healing and recovery from that. So let's pray. And for those who need prayer for any healing, not just for muscle strain or tear or aches, but if you have any illness and are in need of God's healing touch, you can pray alongside us and claim God's healing over yourself too. So let's pray together. Father, we thank you that you have gathered us all here today, even as we are listening from different places. And we want to pray for our dear sister who has injured herself on a tie where there is a tear and there's a hurt. Lord, we want to ask in Jesus' name that you will release your healing over the place that is bruised, that is hurt, and that you will restore health to the muscles, that you will restore strength to the muscles, and wherever there is a tear, God, will you release complete healing, God? Will you bind up the wounds and will you restore fullness of health over her thigh, that she will be able to walk with freedom, with strength, with mobility again. And Lord, we just want to pray for anyone else in this podcast that is having any sort of sickness or health issues. Lord, we just declare that you are the God that heals, that your banner over us is love. And as you release your whole, your, your healing right now, Holy Spirit, we ask that you will move mightily and restore us back to fullness of health, life, and joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thanks for the prayer, Tia Hao. And if you have any prayer requests that you might want us to pray with you, feel free to head down to our website, which is www.amplifystudiosg.com and scroll down to the prayer and praise column on our homepage. 
And because it is anonymous and you are not required to leave your contact, you can write in as many prayers as you like from healing to provision to whatever miracles you need God to do for you. And let's pray together. And when your miracles happen, we want to hear them from you too. Because you never know whose faith will be lifted up and be encouraged by your testimony. So do write in your prayer and praise reports. And also, if you've been blessed by our podcast episode and want to support us in our work and ministry, we encourage you to be our patron. Because as our patron, you will not only help us to keep Amplify Podcasts up and running on the social media airwaves, you will also help us to build on our vision, which is to see revival in the land through the local worship songs that are inspired by the breath of God. And we truly believe that this is a great vehicle to carry the gospel to the masses who needs to hear Jesus and a great tool to encourage your souls in Christ. So if you want to see revival in our land, do join us by clicking on the Support Us tab on our website menu today. And we thank you for your support. And moving forward, we have Impact Live Worship with the song Forever Hallelujah, followed by Show Me Your Glory by YCCA Worship, taken from their worship album called Free to Live. And right after our Amplified Devo Originals, we will be playing you the song God With Us from Hope Church Singapore. But first, this is Fireplace Worship Song called Here on the Waves. Thank you for having me here today and thanks for tuning in. Remember to stay safe, stay blessed, and stay tuned to the best mix of local Christian music. Only on Amplified Podcast.
valleys to mountain tops. Your presence will be my guide. You are my strong defense. My lips will sing.
Amplify Devo. Be refreshed, be renewed, be restored. Hi Amplify listeners. In today's Amplify Devo, we'll be talking about What's His is Yours Today. And the scriptural reference can be taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that has been freely given to us by God. Inheritance The first thing that comes to mind is the movies or drama shows that we see on TV, whereby when the father in a super-rich family dies, all the sons and daughters start to fight it out with one another to see who can get the most of the inheritance. In real life, of course, most of the time it won't be that dramatic, but there are some exceptions. But usually, the father or mother will ask for a lawyer to write their will, and in it, 
they will write down their inheritance and their allotment among the offsprings. Sometimes it might be evenly distributed or sometimes the allotment portion differs by age or status within the family. If you are not within the family, you most likely won't get a part of the inheritance. And when the person dies, the will is activated. The inheritance portion allocated to the offspring is granted and active as per what the will describes. The lawyer will then meet up all the offspring or people involved and read out the will and their allotment. The inheritance is given to them. They don't have to work for it or earn it. They just have to be in the family. And for us with God, it is pretty much the same too. God has a great inheritance for us. But in order for that inheritance to be activated, we have to be in the same family and have a relationship with Him. The day we receive Christ as our Savior and acknowledge that God is our Abba Father and believe in Him is when we are adopted as sons and daughters of God. Secondly, death has to be taken place before the inheritance or will can be granted. That is where God came in the form of man named Jesus to die for us. So that those who believe in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And the Holy Spirit who is with us acts like a lawyer in this context. As mentioned in our passage today in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12, the Holy Spirit helps us to know the things which have been freely given to us by God. The Holy Spirit will remind us of our inheritance in Christ. He will remind us of what we have in God through the Scriptures. And we don't have to earn it or work for it. We just need to receive it. Our inheritance is given freely. No son or daughter needs to work for it or earn it. As long as you are in the family, you have the right to the inheritance. But how much is allocated to each of us? Why do some Christians seem to have more and others less? Is it because they have been attending church longer? Or is it because they have been better Christians than others? Or is it because they serve in many ministries or is it because they do the work of God? None of it. Many Christians receive less because they take less. They don't know what has been given to them. They doubt it. How much you receive is in accordance with your faith in taking. That is why the Holy Spirit is here to tell us what we have in Christ. Jesus said this of the Holy Spirit in John chapter 16, verse 14 to 15. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. All things that the Father has are mine. Therefore I said that he will take of mine and declare it to you. So you see the Holy Spirit will take what Jesus has and declare it to you. Firstly, how big is the inheritance? And how much are we allocated for? Verse 15 says that all things that the Father has belongs to Jesus. God who is the creator of heaven and earth and the entire universe has everything, all that our eyes can see and also all that is beyond what we can see. God is rich and powerful. He is God and owns everything. And unlike other inheritance that the allotment is based out of the person's riches, our inheritance in Christ is based according to His riches and not out of His riches. Meaning His riches doesn't dwindle down because you took it, but His riches is always there in full for you to take it whenever you need it. As you read the scriptures, the Holy Spirit will remind you. So if you need healing or health today, take it. It is your inheritance. It is free. 
If you need provision, take it, for God shall supply all your needs according to His riches in glory. So, what do you need today? Just take it because it is your inheritance. And his inheritance also includes the abundant eternal life that Jesus came to give, as well as a brand new body that never dies. So, what Jesus has is yours today. And he wants to give everything to you because he loves you. You can have God's inheritance today because Jesus has paid it all at the cross.
raised to life. Jesus, you be lifted high. Love unveiled, hope arise. Christ our King be glorified. Conquer death, raised to Listening to the home of local Christian music, Amplified Podcast. Make loud his praise.